right, everybody. Another one of UXW Bill's food videos here. Oh this is actually my mother that's working on this. What we have here is a is a batter that's got some spices and seasonings in it. Old German recipe translated into English. And basically, what these things are, and here are some of them in the uh, Presto Cool Daddy deep fryer. There's a bag of seasoning right there, like cinnamon and sugar. These things, you pop them in the fryer for a couple of minutes, they end up with a cake-like inside, and then on the outside, they grow horns. And while I don't know what the original German is, what we have always called them for years, and get ready, I'm sure the comment jokes are going to fly fast and furious about this, horn balls. Because, well, they're ball-shaped, and they have horns. They are also, despite the unfortunate name, exceptionally tasty. We'll end up making a whole thing of them in that yellow Tupperware container. This is what they look like after they've been sugared. And they are just heavenly to eat. They're probably bad for you. No, but in actually keeping they're with, not. Uh, in keeping with traditions here, we enjoy them. <clears throat> this is a closely guarded family recipe that came from the old country, translated from German, into English and made by my grandmother, Linda Brown, a South Milwaukee resident, lived in the old German area of South Milwaukee and made these for me as a child. She was born in 1895 and lived to the ripe age of 92 and shared a lot of these wonderful recipes with me before she died. So yes, this is a closely guarded family secret on my mother's side. But there you have it. Hornballs and the story behind them. They're exceptionally good. Now the hornballs are particularly tasty and crusty around the horn. That's what makes them so good. And I think you can see, the minute they're sugared up, they are gone. Because they are good. Probably the closest thing I can think of to liken their internal texture to is that of a cake donut. But they're even better than that. Fry them right up until they're a lovely golden brown. And I don't know why these little spiky horns form, but they are the best part. Almost looks like a little reindeer antler. your entertaining song for the evening. Tell St. Peter at the Golden Gate that you hate to make him wait, but you just gotta have another cigarette.